Good morning, folks. It's a pretty rainy day here in Oregon. Um, Maddie and Evan and I are gonna make our way west and hit some of the coasts. We're gonna do some of the tide pools down there, so I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll the footage. What's up? <laughs> We're out here drooping <laughs> over to the Even the drive out to the Oregon coast is scenic. Everything is lush and green, and despite the rain, extremely enjoyable. Our first beach is Seal Rock, which typically allows for sightings of, you guessed it, seals. No luck on our end, but the foam from the tide here was well worth the visit. Hey guys, I am here at Seal Rock, climbing around, checking out the sights with Maddie and Evan. We're gonna kind of drive around the coast. It's about two hours west of Eugene, and yeah, we're gonna check it out. So I'll roll the footage. Next, we made our way to Brian Booth State Park, just in time for Evan to bust out some of his new moves. The trail we wanted to take ended up being flooded, so we just had to move on. The wind up here rivaled that which I had experienced in the Guadalupe Mountains. It was crazy, crazy fast wind. This is a type of seaweed called bull kelp, and they can grow up to 100 feet in length, although typically about 20 to 30 feet, which is what I am swinging around here. I don't know what these things are called, but they are super weird and super cool and they are soft, almost like feel like felt. Uh, look at Evan practicing those moves again.
and Kala made a friend. You can actually walk back into these caves, and on less rainy occasions there are some even deeper and cooler caverns to see, but with the tide being the way it was, we were uh, in, in no such luck. This is appropriately named Devil's Punch Bowl. Lastly, we came to Agate Beach, and as the sun was setting, we said our final goodbyes and backflips to the coast and headed home for the night. Keep it candid.